So, here we are again, back with Marriage Trouble Simulator 2021. Uh, I don't, I can't remember when this game came out. It's definitely not this year. But hello, welcome back. So, uh, quite a while ago, uh, last time we left off, um, we found a body and we need to collect the brain. So what I need to do is to go to the chef's kitchen and get a knife. What we need to do... Uh, hang on, did I check this bottle before? Is it going to the castle all in to be concerned with blueberry pies? Obviously, we might need to take it for something. Obviously, do not mix it with blueberry pies. I'm guessing we have to poison someone later. It's very quiet, which is very unsettling. It's locked. Don't we have like a... Yeah, there we go. Oh. There we go. Mighty ho, what have we got? That's one big blender. <laughs> Switch on. Oh, lovely. Cooking pot. It's empty. Oh, okay. Rotten pig. Nice. <laughs> I don't know what you like to have on your Sunday dinner, mate, but all right. So, what do we need to get? Oh, lovely. What a lovely 3D rendered pig. One of the few freezers in here that aren't completely frozen shut. Huh. Smeg. <laughs> Talk to the pig! <laughs> Hang on, alright. Just gonna quick save that. <laughs> Hi, pig. I know you're just a pig, but I want to tell you this. It's all your fault. Can we swap places? Sup? <laughs> Sup? Sup? Um, huh, okay. I think he's dead or just sleeping. That's it! <laughs> I just repeated my sentence, but like, is that like an effective thing any? Depending on how you talk to the pig, it will affect your ending. Um... What else have we got in... Oh, hang on. Hang on, what have we got? Bowl, castor oil, okay. Uh, open the fridge, I guess. One of the three things... Yeah, yeah, I know. Open? It's already open. <laughs> then why would you give me the choice, then? Take ice. It's first and solid. I can't break it with my hands. Okay, so... We have to break it apart. And I'm guessing we do that through here. Look closer. Dear God. Uh, this pick has been dead for a long time. Take the ice pick. Ew! Very nice. Cooking pot, blender. Okie dokie. I'm guessing we use the pick to get the ice. Ice pick, use. Take the ice. I need some kind of vessel. I can't just carry it around with my hands. But what? Hang on. What is it? What the? What is it? Um, I'm gu I'm guessing we use the bowl. I filled the bowl with ice. Okay, but now what do we do? Hi, pig. Um, a bowl of ice. And, uh, and cluster oil. But what do, what do we do with it? There's only the cooking pot and the blender. Do we melt the... There's something to turn a pod. I would just burn it. Um, okay. Uh, oil. I could try and use it for frying, but I really don't know what to cook. Okay, so we do use it that. Then the switch on. No point in switching now when it's empty. Fine, I guess. Use? Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh... Oh, hang on. What if we put the... What if we're supposed to put the brain in the box? That could be it. Okie dokie. Oh, well, hang on. Gas supply switch. There seems to be the main hotel's gas supply switch. It's coming on off position. Maybe I shouldn't turn that on. 
closer. Yeah. And then remove. I can't just carry it upstairs in my hands. There's got to be some way I can deliver it fresh. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Wait, and then if we use that. Yeah, this could work, but maybe I should take a closer look at the body first. Okay, look closer. Oh, okay, right. And then. Ugh. Okay. Come on, buddy. We're <laughs> going for a walk. <laughs> I appreciate David's enthusiasm. I think his name is David, if I can remember correctly. <laughs> um, stop it. God damn it. Oh, what was it? Was it the fourth floor? Hello. Ah, I see you have it. Yes. Quick, so give it to me. Give it to me, boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is this what you wanted? One fresh human brain. What else could I want? Yes. Now we have a chance. Eradicate the bad. Restore the good. Or what's left of it, anyway. So shut up and do it already. You can't just put a dead brain inside her head. Uh... Fingers crossed. Fingers the... crossed, Doc. This has nothing to do with luck, mind you. I am certain my calculations were correct. Now it's just a matter of following a correct procedure. But since my nurses took their leave all at once, I will require your assistance. This cavity here... Hold it open for me whilst I lower the brain into place. Sure, buddy. Whatever you say. Put some elbow grease into it, boy. <laughs> That's better. And a little push. Hmm, maybe this way. It's okay, it's just the bowl. We can clean it up later. Almost got it. Just a tiny bit more. It's in! We've done it, boy! Yay! So this is how you do a brain transplant. And I'm sure... I begin to wish I never met you. So this is how you do brain transplants. It's so easy, I'm surprised people don't do it more. Hmm. Now that everything is ready... It is time... For the machine. A machine. I'm yes, guessing that electric chair. We will chair. need to kick some life into this young lady. She's still very much dead. Have you forgotten? Uh, <sighs> no, I haven't forgotten. Good, because we have no more brains to spare, boy. Boy. I'll let you do the honors. There's a lever on the side of that chair over there. Can you see it? Just walk over to the right. I've run the wires from the chair to the body on the table. Less cool. heavy lifting. See? Safer for our spines. That's cool now. The lever? What about it? What does it do? Pull it and we shall see. Okay. Um. Pull, cool, I guess. Well, that did the trick. <laughs> I don't understand. Have we run out of power? Hmm, it's probably just a fuse. I'd better go and investigate it myself. You go and do that, matey boy. And what am I supposed to do? Consider what you want, Batman. Just turn your spine while you first get the stupid. And what am I supposed to do? It's take <laughs> Um. Hey, buddy. 
Actually, I'm actually kind of curious. What if you what if you sit in the chair? Sit. Sit in old Sparky. That's a terrible idea. Do it. <laughs> um, I guess we follow him then. Hello. Where? Oh. What is? Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, not good. Stop. Whoever you are, don't come any closer. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. Thank you, and I'm so very glad that you said that, but... But that's not the only problem here. Uh -huh. I woke up, I'm butt naked, and I'm really freaking cold. I need some clothes, man. Huh? I'm not coming out until you get me something to wear. Um, okay. Um, uh, where do we get the clothes? Um... I guess we could go and find some clothes then. Uh, how about the third floor? I don't think we've gone there. Mm. Oh, this was a mistake. I'm I'm going back in. <laughs> Painting of an old of a lady wearing a hat. I feel like her eyes have been following me around the room. Closer to it. <laughs> oh dear God. Okay, nice to meet you. Ba that's the bathroom door. Anything else I should be aware of? Function room A. Locked. Private party tonight. Invitations only. It's dark inside. I guess the party has to start. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm guessing we have to enter that room later on, so... I'll keep that in mind. Bathroom door. Ah! I... Oh, that's just... Mm. Ew! She washed... She slashed her wrists in the bath. What a nasty way to die. Syringe. I... That's my syringe, I guess. Normally, I'd say clear dirty needles, but today's not a normal day. I'll, I'll just take the syringe if you don't mind me. Uh, examine. It's pretty obvious that she's blown her head off with a shotgun. Take the shotgun. These stiff dead fingers. I'll never loosen the grip with the shotgun. Okay, cooker. What's the damn cooker doing in the bathroom? Ah, uh, Ben, I'll touch that. Sophie. She must be one of the four incarnations of Sophie. Looks half dead already. I don't... I can't remember who Sophie is, but... Alright. Talk to? Yeah. Hi? Yeah. Yes, that's me. Uh, what's my... Where's my wife? You will never find her. She is mine. Mine. Laundry just plain rude. I made a. <laughs> I made a rescue my wife. We'll see about that. You just I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> Strangle her. <laughs> uh. It's not your time yet, but I'll be back. Um. Soon. On the knobs. <laughs> Nothing happens. The gas supply has probably been turned off. Ah, that's what we need to do. Let's go and do that then. My my brain is just ooh, it's just working. Turn on the gasser that heats up the room. The fingers get loose. We get the shot. Get we blow her brains out. But whilst we're getting the, <laughs> the gas, we need to get the stuff from the syringe. Which is a genius. <laughs> right, and then. I'm just going to quickly make a save, and we'll call it... What? Save icon. What? Okay. So then, we're going to call it... Important Syringe. Or just... Uh, syringe... Uh, 
there we go. So, if I regret something or, I don't know, <laughs> I'll come back to that save and whatever. Right, shelves, examine, and then... Uh, examine the blue bottle. Blue, colour of the sky, water. I know her eyes were never blue, they were green. Red bottle, makes me think of blood and danger and fire. I don't need a lot, I just need injection. I'm just gonna quickly look something up. I'll be... I'll be right back for that. I'm just gonna quickly look up something. Okay, right, I'm back. Um... I, after doing a bit of research, I stupidly thought, oh, what if I mix blue and red? No, you just get purple. You don't... You don't get green. <laughs> I'm assuming this is where uh, we use the syringe. I'm sure one of these would give somebody a peaceful death. But which one? I'm guessing we do well, the blue. Here goes nothing. It's time for your medicine, girl. And then pull the gas switch. I've switched it on. <laughs> what is this dubstep, my man? <laughs> Killing it! <laughs> Christ. I'm, I'm dead. I'm just, I'm too vibing with the dubstep. Bew, bew, hell yeah, I'm about to kill someone. <laughs> Hi. Uh, blue drug? Use. This syringe? Is this what you wanted? It seems so. But. Will it hurt? Oh, God. Um. I don't really know, I hope not. Um. How do, I, how do I legitimately respond to that? Shit. Um. No. You won't feel a thing. Good. That's good. I've lived with pain long enough. But. I'm gonna ask you one last favor. Okay. Can you do it? What? Take that needle and stick it in my arm. I don't. I can't do it myself. No. Please. I'm begging you. Oh dear God, what do I choose? <laughs> Is that a way to save? Not a lesson. Well. Oh God. Uh. Give oh, it fuck it. I'm already doomed anyway. Give me your arm. That's a one way to respond, I guess. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Stop laughing. Um, okay. Oop. Okay. I've just learned something new, and also that was disgusting. <laughs> oh. oh, hang on a minute. Oh, God. Right, take the dress. We've got the dress. But I'm gonna go to the third floor because there is a shotgun there, and I'm assuming because that no, I, I'm sorry to get it. I think because she yeah, four incarnations of Sophie. She was the first that oh excuse me. So we kill the first one, the mirror breaks, and then we kill the second one, which is in the, on the on the third floor. That will break further. The and then I'm assuming if we break all the others, uh, we will get our wife back. But uh, I get the feeling, depending on my choices of this game, that I can either go uh, really sweet or very badly. <laughs> Who knows? Hello. 
And then if we turn that on, gas is slowly filling. I should probably go. It's not safe here. Can we take the shotgun? Nah. And then if we, up. Oh. oh. Um. Did, did I do it? Nope. Nothing happens. The gas supply has probably been turned off. Okay, so we need to figure out a way we can, like, make it stay on. Makes sense to me. I, I suppose for now we'll just give the dress to the um to the girl. So. Really? A wedding dress? Um. I'm sorry. All the shops were closed. I'm sorry. All the shops were closed. So, you just pulled this thing out of garbage? Wow, this is so neat! How did you know? I can tell already that you and me are going to be the best of friends. Aw, oh, thank you! I'll gladly take it back if it's not good enough for you. You can go looking for your own dress, and good luck with that. You can go looking for your own dress. Look at him all smug and condescending. You can see damn well I have no great choice here. I'd wear a chicken costume if he brought one. Then what? Are you moaning for? Who's moaning? You're moaning. But okay, whatever. Fuck it. Ungrateful. Go over there for a second, and I'll put this thing on. Okay. Yeah, there's blood on it. Be honest with me. Did you butcher somebody's wife to be to get this dress? <laughs> no, of course. No, of course not. Why do I not believe you? <laughs> hey, yeah. How do I look? You're right. You look awful. <laughs> uh, you look very nice. You look very nice. Ah, thank you. It's not really my color, and it's a bit tight around the waist. But I guess you can't afford to be picky. When you wake up covered in blood in a strange room with no recollection of who you are. Um. How did you die? Um. Do you at least remember your name? Do you at least remember your name? Why? Do you not know it? I figured we were friends. But now that you've asked, you could be anyone, really. A deranged psychopath, for all I know. Wait. Maybe I do know your name. Let me think. Um. No, we didn't go. <laughs> oh. Your name is Angus. No idea, but I'm pretty sure your mother was Sheila. Um. I, I, I to be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, maybe it was something that the doctor said. I don't know. Uh, no. I don't know. Sorry. But you're not a bad guy, are you? I hope not. You're not carrying any knives on you? Don't worry. A machete? I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> but I have a lot going on. So please, don't make me guess and just tell me your name. All right. It's Agnes. Agnes. And please, if you do decide to turn evil, just give me enough warning to start running away screaming, okay? Ditto. Um... I suppose, what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? I think I'm gonna tag along. This room gives me the creeps. There are worse out there. Yeah, I was afraid you'd say that. But you won't let anything happen to me, right? I promise I'll keep, I promise. I'll keep you safe. And what if I trip over the stupid wedding dress and break my neck on the stairs? I'll catch you. Aw, that's really nice. Really. You know what? If you ever fall, I'll catch you too. Oh, thank you. Deal. My name is Joe Davis, by the way. Oh, so you are Joe Davis. Of course, now it all makes sense. It does? I'm mm -hmm. supposed to give you a message. A note. There was your name on it. What? And when I first saw it, I thought, 
Joe Davis? Who the fuck is Joe Davis? Oh, thank you. <laughs> and it's you. A letter? Where did you find it? I held it all scrunched up inside my hand when I came alive. No clothes, none of my stuff. That was the only thing I had on me. So I figured it must be important. You still got it? No, I ate it. <laughs> of course I've still got it. But since this dress doesn't have any pockets, I hid it in here. Oh. Okay. Can you turn around for a moment? I'll get it out. The note. I'll get the note out. <laughs> Is that okay? Too close. Just walk further away and give me a minute, okay? Yeah, right, fine. Oh! Run! Uh, um, oil! Use the oil! Nope. Uh, what the fuck? What do I do? Uh, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What the f what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What the? What do I do? Push him onto the chair. Push him on. Hey, everybody. Uh. Uh. Oh. Hmm. That didn't work. Continuous joke. Continuous Agnes. Oh. Okay. Um. Uh, oh god, what do I choose? <laughs> um, hmm. I'll continue with Agnes, see how it goes. Give a different perspective, I suppose. Guess who I am? Moosehead. Poor Mr. Moose. Tell me, Mr. Moose, everything's gonna be just fine. I'll find the bastard chopped off your head and I shall avenge you. You see a lot of stuff going on in this room, don't you? You poor thing. I find so I ever find you or will anybody, I'll send it your way. Um. You see a lot of stuff going on in this room, don't you? Lovely weather. Open. Okay. Uh, that's it, I guess. I really don't know what to say. Looks warm. Uh, lovely. I'm locked in? Okay. Oh. Who is it? The door's locked, and I don't have a key. So please go away, yeah? Oh! Uh... I'm calling the police! What the fuck? Whoever you are, go away! Um, okay. Uh... Okay. Don't panic, Agnes. We need to... We need to get out of here. I'm guessing this is where we... Fast. I'm guessing this is where we open the window. Open. Uh, climb out. Door too high to jump. Is this where we use that the bed? Take the bed sheet and then go over here. Use the window. Climb out. Oh, for goodness sake. Fine. Hang on. Eh. Bed throw. Use. Mm. Nope. What? Um, okay. Take the blanket. Why not? And then go over here. Then. Uh, use the blanket. Use. Mm, nope. Okay. Uh. Right. Please excuse me, Mr. Moose. Oh, hang on. Oh. Okay. And then we use the blanket. Nope. Uh, then we use the blanket. There we go. There we are. Now we can climb out. 
Oh, no thank you. Ooh, atmosphere kind of music. Very nice. go now. I'm guessing maybe the front door is locked, but I'll have a look. Open. Locked. But that's okay. I don't intend to get back in there again. So I'm just going to leave David. Sure, whatever. Not my problem. <laughs> That looks a bit cool, ain't it? Gate. I should probably climb over it if I wasn't really wearing this wedding dress. Locked, of course. Ah. Uh, some. Hang on. Not cool. Get closer. It could be where my. T I can't drive. Oh. Whoops. I can't drive. Starting. The key's in the ignition. Lucky me. Maybe. If I put something heavy on the gas pedal, the car would break through the fence. Genius! <laughs> yeah, true. Um, trouble is what? What can we use? What is there in our disputed <laughs> Examine. A fake Roman god flees from the bush. Ah, so then we take the... Take the peanut! <laughs> I'm sure the head will do. We don't need the penis. <laughs> take the peanut! What's over here? Nothing. Nah, nothing. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. And then, um, use the head. <laughs> Genius! Not that way, you stupid car. Well, you must have obviously put it on the reverse then. You, it, well, it was obviously in the gear. You didn't check the gear first. So that's on you. But hey, at least the fence is broken now. Hopefully the way we'll put out the fire. <laughs> eh, I hope so. This is very, um, odd. I was not expecting this. Mm, this is interesting. Oh, okay. It just goes around. Meow. Oh, oh, hello. Very odd. I get the fi Someone painted the door frame. If this is real. Obviously we need something to smash it open with, I know I'm guessing. Someone likes the number six. Is this Sonic Dolly, Dolly Exe or something? <laughs> Pumpkin smash. Oh, that's disgusting. Red Goose who's gonna smash pumpkin like blood. Um. Uh, okay. 
I'm pretty sure I did something I was supposed to. I was not supposed to. But oh well. What the? F oh, that's just perfect. He's here as well. Oh. Hey, it's um, it's her. She, she must be mad. Hello. What is this place? Why would it matter? It is what it is. Well, a pile. Hey, it's rot. me wife. Shit. It's me wife. Well, it does look like a big toilet. <laughs> Well, thanks for explaining. Yes, thanks for explaining it. That's exactly what I thought, and that's exactly why we should leave. That's exactly what I thought, and that's exactly why we should leave. It's too late for that. That's what? Rude. Why? It's complicated. I don't really want to talk about it. I'd rather be alone if you don't mind. Really? In a place like this? It's none of your business. Rude. Someone's following me. We need to get out of here. I can't. But... It's some crazy mother. He's got an axe. I know. But she will never let me go. Who? Shh. She. Um... Who is... She? She is the monster that keeps me here. Hmm. A fat little maggot that crawled inside my head and refuses to leave. She's a god and a devil. A trickster. A demon. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. I get it. Good. Then get out of here while you still can. Why? But how? This place is full of dead ends. I'm lost. There is one way. It leads right through her house. But maybe, maybe you can make it. I will make it, but you're coming with me. You can't help me. Haha, <laughs> I beg to differ. This, this place is batshit crazy. Stop moping. The sooner we go, the better. I said no! Oh, you say you're trying in misery. But if you can't change it, I'll be out there fighting demons. Get your ass off this show, I'm gonna follow me. Um. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be out there fighting demons. I wish you luck. Oh, Wait. Oh, there we go. There's a door in one of these rooms here. It won't open without a handle. You'll need to make one. Mm -hmm. Make a door handle? Not a real handle. Just one suited for a door like this. Thanks. That's really helpful. You sure you don't want to come with me? You are David's wife. No? Okay. I promise I'll come back for you. I promise. And I think that will be a good way to end it there. I've recorded a good 30 minutes or 40 minutes by now. But, well, we've done a lot of progress today, haven't we? We've managed to solve a few puzzles. We've met a new character. And, uh... <laughs> it's going in a very interesting direction. Things are getting interesting, aren't they? But, overall, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy what I make, why don't you like, comment, favor, and subscribe to see more content like this. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care now.